What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 10 mind-blowing facts about President Trump's vehicle. Um, obviously, Trump isn't the president anymore, so uh, we will correct this just the United States president vehicle. Because yeah. no matter what, when you guys watch it, whether you watch it in potentially 10 years, imagine if it's still being watched Biden's in 10 years. Biden's vehicle at the moment. Biden's at the moment. It was Trump's, it was Obama's and stuff like that. So I imagine it's the same vehicle for everyone. We just finished watching the um, White House protection one. Mm -hmm. That was pretty beast. Do you so reckon there's going to be some beast things on this? We're interested to see what's going on about the vehicle. I feel like the bulletproof stuff is obviously going to be a given. Yeah. I wonder if there's any anti-explosive stuff. I wonder if there's an ejector seat. <laughs> you want them to be an ejector seat, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but then what do you do with your parachute? I reckon the doors are locked, like, extra locked. Like, no one can run up and just open them? Yeah, let's go. Come on, yeah. watch. <laughs> Smash that like button if you enjoy this kind of content. Smash that subscribe button as well, you absolute legends. How many likes you get on this video? 4,212. I was trying to think if there's a president number or something that goes, but it didn't work. Yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is 2022 when we do this? So we're president in 2022, so 2,222? No, go get more than that. Okay, 4,000 is a stretch, you know. Okay, 2022. <laughs> 2022. It's a realistic goal. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Let's check out 10 mind blowing facts about president's vehicle. Not President Trump's. And the president's vehicle. The president's vehicle. Let's go. When the President of the United States travels somewhere, we president. all know he doesn't just hop- What? Thumbs up? I don't, I don't like him doing that. What? Wait. What's wrong with his thumbs up? When the I don't like that thumbs up. That's not a good- that's not a, that's not a steady thumbs up. Yeah, he's it, it, kind of like that. Right. That's, that's not a hard thumbs up. This is, this is a good thumbs up. Yeah, that the is issue bit. is, he's a bit in, in it. Like, yeah, that's, that. that's not a solid. He's just like, yeah. But then his smile is also not giving me a solid smile either. <laughs> He's a little smirk, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I can't believe you even picked that up. <laughs> the President of the United States travels somewhere we all know he doesn't just hop in the family station wagon. When Truth. he's not flying in Air Force One or Marine One, the most powerful person on the planet travels in a rather impressive motorcade. Sure, we know the limo is bulletproof and there's a ton there of secret get, service agents around, but we bet there are some fascinating things about the motorcade you didn't know. So hit that subscribe button and prepare to see Smash all the incredible button here. effort that goes into keeping POTUS as safe as possible. R&D. The centerpiece of any presidential motorcade is the president's limousine. You've likely seen footage and images of this vehicle swiftly moving through the streets of various cities. But this is much more than a beefed up limo. Instead of just taking a regular limo and bolting on a bunch of armor and run flat tires, there's actually a lot of research and development that goes into designing and building a presidential car. How much? Well, the car used for the inauguration of President Trump has been in development for years. Over this time, it is rumored that GM has spent upwards of $15 million in development cost alone. $15 million car. That's pretty insane. 15 million. It, it best have some good stuff. It's a tank, apparently, according to the screen. If that does make sense why it's costed a bit, it's a tank. <laughs> a car Describes a limo. That's a tank. So what does all that research and development get you? The presidential limo, aka the beast, is more tank than car. It has eight inch thick armored doors, glass that can stop a 44 Magnum bullet, body made up of five inches of military grade armor, and wow. armor floor plates to protect the president from grenades and bombs thrown underneath it. The beast okay. even sports an armored gas tank. So with them floor plates, let us know in the comments, do you reckon that would still flip it? Cause it's an explosion, isn't it? Hmm. You know what I mean, like the force, and but maybe it just wouldn't go through, so you're only damaged by the roll, I guess, but then it's so strong. So in a car crash, maybe then. Yeah, but you just don't throw anything because it's so strong around. Let us know in the comments. Dead. I assume it would flip it. Foam that will seal itself if punctured. Limo cost. Well, as you can imagine, the presidential limousine is rather pricey. Sure, a regular limo will cost you around $75,000. Throw in all the armor and amenities found in the Beast, and you have one insanely expensive car. Estimates place the cost of one presidential limo in the region of $1.5 million. Wow. That's not even including the cost of gasoline, which is likely high considering this thing gets an estimated <laughs> four miles mm -hmm. per gallon. Four miles per gallon. Fast and furious. Okay, so it's heavy, chews gasoline, and reportedly can only reach 60 miles per hour in around 15 seconds. Oh Hold my on, days. Though. The Secret Service compensate for this lack of performance on paper by putting a specialist behind the wheel. That's not just any regular chauffeur driving the president around. Nope, it is a specially trained Secret Service agent who can handle the beast as though it were a Ferrari. Special driving courses ensure this agent can get the car out of danger and through nearly any situation if the need arises. 
Never just think, one. That is a good point. It's slow. Yeah, they've got an expert driver, but it takes 15 seconds to get to 0 to 60. That is super slow. Not of me behind the pedal. How are you going to get? Oh, you. Uh, oh, sometimes we pop up to a, a traffic light and you put sport mode on. Up to 40 because that's our speed limit. And then back into eco. 0.1 <laughs> second and get 40. <laughs> Not that quick. We've only got a Nissan Duke. But, and we, to be fair, and with petrol prices, it costs us about 50 quid every yeah, time so you do that. Yeah, so I burn the whole petrol. <laughs> it's fun though. But you know what I mean? Like, that's 15 seconds yeah. is slow for 0 to 60. How are you getting away? No matter how good you are behind the wheel, you're still going slow. Mm. You know what I mean? I get you. I Explain get you. a bit more in the comments if you know. Yep, it is believed that there are around 12 presidential limousines. Okay. Why so many? Well, if you watch a presidential motorcade, you may notice that the group has two or three beasts. These can be used to carry other VIPs, or more commonly, they're used as decoys. In this instance, they move around in the motorcade, so any potential assassins have no idea which one is the president. Mm. Always sent ahead. From California to England, the motorcade gets sent ahead thanks to the U.S. military. In this instance, the Beast and accompanying Secret Service vehicles are packed up aboard military transport that. vehicles and flown to it's the good. destination in preparation for the president's arrival. This way, there's always a familiar group of vehicles waiting to escort the president, no matter where he is, across Small. the globe. Size matters. If you've seen Sometimes. a few presidential motorcades, then you know each one is a little different. This is because each scenario is a little different and requires altering the amount of protection and support staff traveling with the president. In short, the more dangerous an environment, the more vehicles will travel with the motorcade. Okay. Former agents have said that the smallest motorcades are usually around 10 vehicles in size. In areas where there is more of a threat, the motorcade can grow up to 40 cars, 40 cars SUVs, wow. and motorcycles. Always watching. Every presidential motorcade has a lot of agents and police on lookout. Obviously, the main part of this is visual as they scan for any threats. However, agents are also listening to the airwaves for threatening radio or cellular chatter. This was demonstrated in 1996 Again, small. when agents like picked it. up on the words marriage and bridge while escorting Bill Clinton in the Philippines. Knowing marriage was often a terrorist code word for an imminent attack, they diverted the motorcade. A search later discovered explosives attached to a bridge wow. along the president's original route of travel. I never travel. knew that. Wow. Serious firepower. Take a look at the gun on the roof of this SUV. While it looks like something out of Grand Theft Auto V, we can assure you that this is very real and a part of the presidential motorcade. Just watch the next motorcade and see if you notice the one SUV with no agents jumping out of it. That's the one sporting this six-barreled Gatling gun that can fire wow. thousands of rounds per minute. Of course, the Secret Service agents are always packing a whole bunch of firepower, but this guy definitely has the final word in any argument. Yeah, that is a beast. With a touch of James Bond. While it's armored from head to toe, the Beast also has some pretty neat additions you'd expect 007's car might have. There's night vision cameras, tear gas grenades, and firefighting wow. equipment, all standard features. The car can also survive a chemical I mean, attack thanks to- I mean, there were two sick things there. The flares, the night vision, and then it said it's got firefighting equipment in. Yeah, but it's got to be safe. It was it? just literally just the, I forgot what it's called. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher, there we go. <laughs> you gotta, that's, you know that's I mean? good. That's not exactly James, like, W07. Oh, yes. That's what I did. Like I could put a mini fire extinguisher in my car. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but you don't. But I didn't. Have, yeah, I don't. But I didn't have to be on my list. Yeah, but that you one. don't know. <laughs> it's on oxygen supply. Of course, there's always the touch of elegance provided by the separate reclining leather chairs in the back. So while the world goes crazy outside, the president can ride in comfort. Cool beans. Well, that is some wow, pretty good. insane... That was good, I enjoyed that. Enjoy that? Yeah, that was good video. It was a beast, weren't it, to be fair? Um, it'd be pretty cool to ride in that car mm. once. And, you know, have it all on towards and all that. Like I said, I think in the last video, weren't it? It'd be pretty cool to be the president, to be fair. Yeah, it would be, to be fair. May maybe one year. Well, maybe one day. You legends need to get us a lot more people to see our videos, mm. though, for us to even stand a chance. Maybe a couple billion. <laughs> <laughs> smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Um, what was the like goal? 2022. Well remembered. Smash that like button because Millie remember the like goal. And what should we do? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you legends in the next one. Peace.